I love drawing the figure. It's such a beautiful form and there are so many just infinite possibilities with it. So many different poses, so many different bodies, so many different faces. I've done portraits of my kids. I'm thinking of them as a person. I'm thinking of them when they were young and who they've become. And there is definitely an emotional attachment there and I would like to think that comes through. And even the portraits, I guess you could say, that I do of my dog, the love for my dog actually comes through, I've been told, and that is very rewarding. I draw my dog all the time. <laughs> she's a great model. She's readily available. She's always here. She sleeps a lot. She stays pretty still. She's a muse. I find her interesting, the way she is laying on the floor sleeping in all these different poses. I really like working with ink on paper. I like a paper that has a little bit of tooth to it, and I also like the toned papers, but I really love working with ink on those. Ink is ink's kind of badass. It's like, it's not watercolor, where you can kind of remove it or it's kind of airy. It's there, you put it down, it's there. I also like the acrylic inks because they're very versatile. I can water them down and they will behave watercolor-like. It's beautiful. I just love ink and the, the versatility that it offers. I actually worked as a library associate for a number of years in the children's area. I did a lot of story times and enjoyed picture books in particular. So I think from that I've internalized a lot of those things and they're floating around in my head and they somehow come out in my art either in a respect for something that I can't quite get myself or something that I'm trying to get better at. I started this series of these twisty bendy vines that I happened on in my backyard. And to me, they're absolutely breathtaking. They are three-dimensional lines in space, and they have line variation. They'll taper off, they'll wrap around um, different plants or a fence or, or itself, but they're, I, I can't put it into words, and that's why I guess I put it into art. I just find such beauty in them. Something that's very, very important to me as an artist is a sense of community. I work alone in my studio. You know, I come up the stairs at the end of the day and I work at night and into the wee hours of the morning. And at a point, I mean, it starts to mess with you. You start to doubt your art. You start to think, is what I'm doing any good? I'm no good at this. It's vital to get out, talk to other artists. I love to look at what other people can do and that I can't even come close to doing anything like that or my mind wouldn't even go there. But I love having it all around me. It's such an inspiration. I'm doing the figure drawing for myself and it's a challenge and it's a, a practice. It's mindfulness. I'd like to think I'm getting better with each mark and stroke I make. And I'm proud of some of the things I've done along the way, but I have not done my best work. It's still hanging out there. It's still a spirit or a thought or an idea and the best is yet to come.